Today we're in Mexico City and we're here to eat. This Mexico City series is all about sharing with you the city's best food. Mexico City's food culture is dynamic, varied and delicious. If you love to eat, you won't want to leave this place. This is our third video from Mexico City and we're zipping all around town to hunt down the city's most iconic street food. Watch out for the king of sandwiches, melt in your mouth tacos and one of the craziest snacks ever invented. In this massive Mexico series we're hunting down the country's tastiest food and eating where the locals eat. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. If you're new to our channel, I want to give you a little bit of information about what we do and who we are. We're all about going to the heart of the food in the places we visit. So really finding where the locals are eating, the heart and soul of the local food. Today is going to be no different. We're starting at a place that is really full of heart and soul. We've walked past it a number of times and it's for a torta, which is a thing that I love. And this is a really cool looking stall and it is all about what we're trying to do. We're just trying to find the best food, the local stuff, the stuff that the people are really eating, but the best versions of that food. So we'll travel all over the cities and the countries we're in to find you guys the best local food. We're starting this video in the neighborhood of Condesa. Now Condesa is a really popular area for travelers to stay in. There are loads of fancy restaurants, bars and cafes. But what is great about this area is that there are also a lot of traditional old gems, just like this first place that we're gonna eat at. And we are here for a torta, which is a Mexican sandwich. Now this place has been around for 30 years. It's really, really nondescript. It doesn't even have signage out the front saying what the name of the stall is or the, the little sandwich shop is, but locals say that this place does a really good torta and it's very popular. So let's go and grab one. Hola, buenos dias. Tiene con queso. Gracias. This torta is visually incredible. We've been in Mexico City for about 10 days and we've had a few tortas in our preparation for filming this one. So we've built ourselves up with tortas at other places already, just visually, I can see this thing is gonna knock them out of the water. I mean, check it out. How could this not taste good? So we've got pork down here. So they roast a fresh leg of pork every morning for this shop. And we saw them slicing that off the beautiful piece of pork, really nice chunky bits of pork, a ton of string cheese, which you put on the hot plate and it's now got all these beautiful little crispy bits and then all these soft gooey bits. And we asked for it with everything. So with everything means avocado, got some fresh onion chopped up through there, got some tomato and the jalapeno. So all those chilies here, you can see some green and red chilies. He had a huge tub of that that he dumped all over the torta. I love the little shop as well. So like Sheena said, very nondescript. There is no signage at all. It's got a really neat little old menu up there on the wall. It's got uh, a lot of um, heart and soul in it. It feels really neat to be in. You can tell it's a local's favorite. It was packed when we got here. Um, it's actually been here 30 years, which is not as long as I thought. Looking at it, it looks like it's been here for a long, long time. But let's dive into this torta. Let's oh, grab it. Oh, look at that cross section, that huge piece of avocado, all that pork underneath. And look how thick that piece of cheese is there in the middle. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. All over me. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh, the flavors. 
that is incredible. I got a lot of um, that pork in that mouthful and super juicy, really well cooked, really well seasoned. But I want to go again because I actually got mainly pork and a little bit of cheese. So I want to go with that next bite with a bit of everything. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. So I said that we've had a lot of torta building up to this one. This one just absolutely knocked them out of the park. They are all gone off the list and they were good as well. This is incredibly good. It's so well balanced. I got a nice bit of avocado, which is obviously really creamy. It's perfectly balanced. So you've got spice and salt from the pork being roasted. You've got sweetness and acidity from the tomato. The bread is just really soft and subtle. It's not overly chewy. It's not overly crispy. So it doesn't um, get in the way. Uh, sometimes a sandwich like this, I find the bread just, it's great, but it gets in the way, but you're sort of struggling to get it out. Not the case here at all. So torta are a very common food here. You'll find them all over the place. And I'm so glad we came to this spot to film this one. It is unbelievably good. Mm. to Peak Park for our next street food but before we hunt down the food store we just want to say thanks to the sponsor of this video Safety Wing who offer travel medical insurance. We've just been in Turkey and Sheena ended up in hospital had a major operation so without insurance we would have been in big trouble. One of the great things about Safety Wing is that they're super affordable so for four weeks of insurance it's $37 and if you're going to be traveling in the US it's 68. They also let you purchase the insurance when you're outside your home country which is a brilliant feature especially for digital nomads like us. They also offer limited home coverage so for every three months of insurance you buy you get 30 days of home coverage and 15 days if you're from the US. If you want more details check out the YouTube description below there's also a link for you to buy safety wing insurance. Let's go and find some Dori Locos. Chapultepec Park is an awesome place to spend some time in Mexico City. It is massive and it is perfect for people watching and there are tons of snacks to sample. Uh, we are going to hunt down a bag of Dori Locos. This is a crazy snack. It's a quintessential Mexico City uh, experience I suppose. It's something that you have to eat when you're here and I can see the stall right up ahead. Una Dori Locos por favor. Uh, a grande, por favor. Ah, uh, uh, queso, por favor. Sí, sí, sí. Con todo. There's all sorts of things going into this bag of Dori Loco. So it starts with a packet of Dorito chips, and then there's carrot, there's hikama, there's chili, there's, uh, what else can I see, peanuts, whoa, delicioso. Muchas gracias. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because this bag of Dori Locos is so crazy. So it starts with a bag of Doritos, so corn chips. I went with nacho cheese um, and then he chucked a ton of different ingredients inside. So what have we got? We've got some shredded uh, carrot, there's some shredded hikama as well, which is like a Mexican turnip. These here are pickled pork rinds. There's some peanuts in there, the kind which have got like a crunchy shell on the outside. Uh, he put, I think, two different types of hot sauces, a ton of like spice on top, um, what else? Just It's just a riot of crazy ingredients all mixed together. So I think what I'm going to do, well the best thing to do is just give it all a big old mix. Oh the really red sauce I believe is chamoy. So chamoy is this sauce made out of um, pickled fruit. So it's going to be a riot of texture and flavour. Okay, so I've got some of the carrot and stuff in there. 
Oh, how do you even eat this thing? I think I'm gonna go in with my hand so I can use the corn chip to sort of um, pick up some of those ingredients. All right, so I've got a pickled pork rind and some of the fresh veg on there. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, really good. So it is salty, it is spicy, it is crunchy, it is sweet, it's uh, tangy. It's got all of the flavour profiles that you could possibly want. It's sweet and it's really fresh actually from the um, carrot and the hikama. I ate some of the pickled pork rind and it had a great texture. It was a little bit gelatinous but a bit crunchy as well. I'm just digging into this bag of Dori Locos with a huge smile on my face. It is this crazy combination of different textures and flavors, uh, flavors and it all just works. It's really fun to eat. Um, it's what people eat after school. It's what people eat to get a sense of nostalgia, to recreate their childhood. And I can see why. It is really, really delicious. We're at Taqueria Los Cocuyos and these guys specialize in all things cow or beef. They've got this huge menu and you can literally get every type of part of the uh, cow that you could possibly want. There's eye, there's cheek, there's sweet breads, uh, there's intestines, um, all sorts. But I want to show you the huge pot of bubbling meat. So come over here with me. Look at this meat! So braising in uh, liquid and fat and it just smells heavenly. There's also some longanita, so that spicy sausage. There's some um, nopales, some cactus petals in there. I think we've got to get into these tacos. Yeah, cuatro tacos. Um, tripa, un lengua, uh, longanita, and Mm. Seso. Sí. Sí. Gracias. So all of the different bits of beef are hiding underneath each other. So you had to dig through to find the tripa, which are the intestines. So we ordered uh, tro um, intestines, tongue, brains and also a spicy sausage run, longanitsa. I'm gonna eat the brain taco and also the tongue taco. So the sesos and the lengua. Now I'm gonna put some salsas on here. The salsas came with a bit of a warning. So this is super, super picante. So very hot, a little bit hot, not so hot. So I think I'm gonna go medium because I don't want the um, salsa to overwhelm the brain. So a few drops of that. The tacos came with the onion and also the cilantro. And then of course, the requisite squeeze of lime. So we'll go with the brain taco first, chuck a ton of lime on top of that. Okay, now double tortilla, it's been crisped up on the hot plate and then the brain is just simply steamed. Holy moly. That is impeccable brain. When brain is cooked correctly, it is melt in your mouth, it is creamy, it does not have a really strong offal taste, and that is cooked to perfection. It is so, so creamy, it just melts in your mouth. That was the perfect salsa for it. Gave it a little bit of vinegariness and chili heat, but didn't take away from um, the flavor of the brain. Okay, this tongue taco. So it's a whole piece of tongue. The boiled tongue was just sliced and then popped onto the tortilla, onion, um, cilantro, and then I think 
what I'll do is go for the really hot salsa. So chuck that on there, a few drops, and then some more lime. All right. Ugh. Woo. Oh. This place is awesome. We're standing right on the street, tucking into these tacos. People are wandering past. The guys are really friendly. Perfect street food. Mm. Mm. Again, the meat is so beautiful. Super tender. That um, salsa is pretty hot. A very sharp heat. Onions and cilantro add a burst of freshness. Oh, this is so good. I am desperate to try the intestine one. So it was braised, but then they took it out and put it on the hot plate. And you can see all these beautiful little crispy golden bits. I'm going to do that medium salsa. So the nice dark red one all over there. I'll get a whole lot of it though. And definitely some lime. That is totally a must. So it's that lime in there, nice and juicy. Alrighty, these look like really good intestines. Oh, mmm, wow, mmm, oh. They also put the tortilla on the hot plate and dipped it in the braising liquid. So that's got a beautiful little crispiness on it and the um, intestines. They're so perfectly cooked and they've got that beautiful little crunch from where they've been put on the hot plate, crisped up, not chewy at all, not awfully at all. That is one hell of a taco. We've come full circle. We've come back to the neighborhood that we started in where we ate the torta and we're here to visit an old school uh, ice cream parlor. It's been around the, since the 1940s. It looks pretty nostalgic. Por favor, una banana split. Bien, como no. And una bola grande. Um, This type of place is probably not what you think of when you think of Mexico, an old school 1940s uh, ice cream parlor, which is really old fashioned. It's really popular with the locals. It's great that you can find this type of uh, establishment in Mexico City, it's, it's neat. Um, so what we've ordered, we've gone the whole shebang. I've got um, helado, which is ice cream. So a scoop of ice cream, it's rompope flavor, which is eggnog. And then I've also gone for a scoop of nieves, which is um, tuna flavor. So nieves um, and helado differ in that nieves is um, like artis um, artisan type water based ice cream. So it's mainly water based and fruit. So this is tuna flavor and tuna is not the fish, it is the prickly pear. So the fruit of the cactus plant. And then Thomas went for the banana split. So he's got, I think, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, obviously um, sandwiched between a banana and then nuts and a wafer. I really love how they're still using uh, glass ice cream dishes. Oh, it's just um, really old fashioned. It's got a great feel about it, this place. I'm gonna start with the tuna. So this is the Nieves, the water-based, almost akin to sorbet, really. Mm. Oh. It's very icy and soft and very sweet. The tuna has a really fresh flavour. Um, it sort of tastes to me a little bit um, like a like a pear. I suppose it's prickly pear, so it tastes a little bit like um, a like a bure bosque pear. Um, let's give this rompope a try. So this is the eggnog. So there's um, eggs and vanilla flavoring and also I believe um, milk. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's very creamy but it also has a little bit of an icy texture as well which I really love. It was really good. 
I love how classic this banana split looks. I just felt like a banana split when I saw this place. And like Sheena said, it's definitely not what we think of when we think of Mexico. So hopefully for you as well, you've seen something a bit new that you didn't realize Mexico have, has. And you see quite a bit of this sort of thing here with real nostalgia that's got a real sort of old world feel about it. I really love it. It's such a neat city to explore for the true street food like we've had today. Interesting stuff like the Dori Loco in the park and then things like this which are so interesting and so different. I gotta get into my banana split before it melts. Condesa. Now Condesa is an area which travellers really like to have. 